Okay, we are now at, uh, we're at the end of April uh, 2015, and we have a happy patient from Chicago, mm -hmm. an accountant by trade, mm -hmm. uh, who coincidentally had a radial keratotomy surgery for nearsightedness by my mentor, the late uh, William Myers, mm -hmm. and it might have been even done when I was working with him for all I, mm -hmm. I remember, it was way back, back in the day. But aside from that, uh, you had uh, your first experience with floaters was elsewhere, was it not? Uh, yes. Uh, we don't have uh, to mention uh, yeah, other yeah, doctors sure. who. In California, yeah. Um, uh, you know, again, we had the internet and. Yeah, you know, yeah. I and I noted and, down to a couple of people, and I have family in California, and I was out there and said, let me see. And, and it was a decent experience. I mean, I had a lot of little, tiny little. I, I, did you had a waist ring, probably something off to the side that sure, was a little sure, more solid. Sure. And actually, when I examined you, those were both pretty well gone. Yeah, yeah but you know. had. Yeah. Did the other problem that you experienced with floaters was that at that same time, or did that happen more subsequent to that? No, no, about, about the same time. Uh, but I was told that they, they were kind of close to the retina, and then I guess the type of laser wasn't I guess, suitable for okay. those. Okay, okay. And you've also had several bouts of iritis. Iritis, which, Did you have the iritis be, before no. the last laser? No, no, or, no that was subsequent, actually. Subsequent. Yeah. Yeah, it's not related in any way. It did make your, your, your case a little more difficult because your iris didn't dilate 100%. Right. But you, your complaint was unusual. It was, you're an accountant, yeah. and, and, and this came like a veil over your field of yes, vision. How yes, would you describe yeah. it? Oh, terrible. I mean, uh, obviously I'm on the computer 12 hours a day, and there were, there were times um, that I actually couldn't even you know, see the computer. I mean, I couldn't read anything, uh, any, of the, any of the detail on the computer screen at all. Yeah, and, and when I when I, when I looked in, your 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 vitreous was a little different than the average floater patient. It looked like the actual surface, which we call the hyloid, had it was like somebody threw some dust on it, like throwing flour on a Jello mold. Yeah. So what we did, we addressed that, and uh, we have a satisfactory result. Sure. I hope. And, and but the interesting thing is. You actually say your visual acuity is sharper. Very sharp. I mean, literally, there were times when just washing my face or shaving, I can even I can barely see my skin, and now I can see, of course, the, the wrinkles and the, the uh -oh. details of the, <laughs> of the skin, uh, which is a pleasant sight. I mean, when you're trying to shave or yeah, sure, or, you know, just cleaning up, and it's geez, I can't even I can I, I can see shades of my face like shadows yeah and and these things are always hard to measure on an eye chart because there's there's other factors that enter into our visual perception mm -hmm. uh, one is the contrast and maybe even if the contrast right. is improved by by sure. doing away with this little haze mm -hmm. uh, your acuity is better in general yes, there's no but idea. anyway you're a happy patient that's what oh, we love very, very happy. and yeah. you're back I, to I Chicago hate to I hate to leave but, back to uh, Chicago the, the, everything's been nice there's a stay the, the hotel the weather everything's been beautiful um, compared to Chicago <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chicago was where I went to medical school of course I was 23 at the time and it can always anywhere's fun at age 23 mm -hmm. uh, now well life can still be fun and I'm glad you're enjoying yourself oh, thank you for being I hate, a, to, hate to leave but gotta go back to work <laughs> thanks for being a great patient thank you